This is uh, Captain Rob here on a nice, hot summer, blistering hot, humid day in uh, Port Washington uh, in Long on Long Island. You have to always say on. And this is uh, a 71 Hatteras, 37 foot, um, has been uh, restored by the current, you know, owner. Uh, the all grip paint job was done last uh, last year. Bottom looks all done, ready to go in the water, and I'll be taking additional photos of the engine room, the bottom, and uh, the owner will take me a tour of the interior shortly. All right, now we're under, uh, uh, underneath the bottom of the hull. Uh, was recently uh, painted, uh, only needs a couple areas where the straps were, and right here by the keel to go and be touched up and painted. But besides that, it doesn't look like there's any blistering whatsoever shafts are, are clean. And uh, a midship on the port side. Centerline keel. Going forward. Port side moving uh, forward towards the bow. And that, you know, as you can see, bottom is in very good condition. And uh, the owner who did all the restoration work and put, uh, he actually just painted it all grip this past season. And that's what he does, it's his hobby. He has like five other boats that he's uh, rebuilding, restoring, and selling them. And the hull looks in great shape. Port side of the 37 Hatteras uh, Sportfish. And as I stated earlier, um, current owner uh, restored vulgar paint. Um, we're not gonna have the actual uh, year or hours on the engine, and I'll have the owner explain all the details, you know, about that, you know, shortly. And, uh, you know, as you can see, everything about uh, this hull is solid fiberglass. Even the superstructure, the only part there might be, and I'll take a look a little bit later, they said there's some plywood, is when they covered up the, the front forward uh, windshields. Hey Captain Rob on, on the bow of the 37-foot Hatteras. And very awesome, amazing, amazing how solid this boat. There is no soft spots whatsoever, uh, rock solid. Um, obviously, uh, the bow railing, deck railing, is not on. I have to go and ask the owner if that's something that's going to be put on or if he has it. And we'll get all those details once we go inside the galley. But um, this, this whole deck is uh, very, very solid. And these windows were, uh, or the front windows were taken off and uh, plywood and glassed over. As you can see, there's a little bit of cracking on the gel coat here on the port side. A little bit in the center and a little bit here to the, to the starboard. But overall, everything, the superstructure is solid, you know, fiberglass, except for that one little um, portion for the windshield, which is uh, fiberglass over with wood, plywood. And we'll just take one shot. Can't walk down the side, but the gunwale. And we're gonna move uh, towards the aft. Hi, right, Captain Rob, we're inside 37 Hatteras with the owner, Bill. What can you tell us about what you did as far as the restoration in inside? Well, inside the boat, we redid all the cabin walls and we redid uh, all the plumbing and uh, she has central air conditioning, she has uh, a new heater, she has a stand-up shower, she um, has a private area up forward to sleep if you're staying overnight fishing. Um, so even uh, up top, right? This is amazing. So that's basically what we have. We have this stereo system it's, uh, it's old school, you might want to upgrade it, but it all works, and uh, so we've been using it. It has uh, uh, the capability of playing TV, but usually you're too far offshore, 
and it has a sound system built in, uh, all of which works. And uh, she has a generator, um, which supplies complete power for the boat. The air. How many? How many kW is that? You think? I think it's nine. Uh, not, that's big yeah, for this size vessel. Yes. It's either eight and a half or nine. It's a cold. It's cold. It's got about 135 hours on it. It's on a computer, so that's accurate hours. So that's accurate hours that's for That's accurate hours. All right, here in the uh, the bathroom area, it's more than just the bathroom. It's actually quite large with a separate full enclosed shower, plenty of uh, storage locker. Unlike most vessels this size, uh, which is great for if you're an avid fisherman, especially offshore, you this is meant to be just an area that is huge inside and uh, very easy to clean, right? Yes. And Absolutely. all the upholstery has been redone. Underneath all the, uh, I would say, lockers and cabinets has been, um, been painted. The wood doors have been revarnished and looks great. And then uh, this uh, head is a, what is it? A, cup, a custom head that came with it where it was put in. And we'll get the specs on that. The owner says it was about a $2,000 head, so. The throne, actually, right? Great throne. And then we got the shower. The floor is dirty. Don't get the floor. <laughs> Don't get the floor. Uh, it's, he, he hasn't got to that yet. So. But it'll clean off. It'll clean off. Perfect. It has a sump pump directly. There's a sump pump somewhere. that goes out. By the main galley uh, area. And this is... Uh, the starboard locker next to the kitchen sink it's huge and so as you can see the you know, owner put in all new carpeting as a liner giving it a nice finished look and you what you could put what a rod in there for it if you wanted to you could probably put some shelving or something at some point in time absolutely right? absolutely or you can use it for foul weather gear storage oh okay and know uh, it's still in the galley this is uh the other locker, huge, another big one, and which uh, was uh, totally redone inside all the way throughout. And then you said you had what type of lighting that you put uh, in? Indirect? Uh, 12 lighting. volt? Uh, no, that's, that's 110. That is 110 right that's now? That's 110 running. Okay. And we have that in, in all of the bathroom, throughout the entire boat, forward cockpit, everywhere. And like these walls were all redone as well? They were. They were or were not? Were. Every wall, Every wall has been? Totally redone, repainted, refurbished. How long did it take you to do everything? Uh, it took me about two years. Now tell us a little bit of how you uh, uh, purchased the vessel, because everyone's asking me about the engines, which we'll go and take pictures of. And what do we, what, how did you acquire uh, the Hatteras? The gentleman who owned the boat, uh, it was a documented vessel at the time, uh, got in trouble with the IRS and make a long story short had to abandon the boat so I had to buy the boat out of the yard uh, and we didn't have a good history on the boat okay uh, because of the way that it was acquired uh, we were able to through the internet and other things track things down and because it was a documented vessel we we have a good history on her the only thing we don't have is Quite frankly, the only thing we don't have is the exact time that the engines were put in. I think everything else we have a real good handle on. Uh, the engines are in excellent shape and have uh, under 500 hours on them, but we, we just don't know. We don't have the serial numbers on them. No, we do not. I mean, somebody, uh, we've had a lot of people look, but there seems to be no plate on them. And then what, your mechanic uh, did a compression test on them? Or? Yes, they've been compression tests, and we... Uh, Checked out all the injectors and all the filters have been changed. She's got everything. Wow, there's plenty of. So this is the basically made for like a, a bunk. You could fit. Yes, what? two on the top. Two on, on the, the top bottom. and one on the bottom. And one on the bottom. I guess I could have moved that stuff. Now, what else is uh, what else is coming? You know, anything else coming uh, with the Hatteras? I mean, I see some gear and stuff. Is that life preservers? Life uh, preservers. Yeah, we'll we'll go with the boat. She has uh, uh, that winch, which you can see the bottom of up there. The, yeah, the windlass. The windlass. A good windlass. A very good one, and uh, that of course comes with it. There's a washdown pump on the back deck. 
Um, and as we said earlier, she has heaters, air conditioners, everything you need. Everything you need. Perfect. She can go fishing tomorrow. And again, this was all redone. You can see it's all soundproof. There's red lighting here for at night so the fellas don't have to lose their, as well as white lighting, there's a switch. Yeah, you did a great job on, on all the uh, wood, all the doors. Looks great. Here's the door leading up to the bunks. Yeah. Are you up for sale too? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your wife says, well, how much time you spend restoring boats, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this looks great. Awesome. So how many boats have you restored in total? Oh, I used to do wooden boats with my father wooden years boats? ago. Yeah. I don't know, I guess 20 or 30 in my lifetime. And we keep on finding other storage areas and places for the little kids to go and hide forever. <laughs> you know, Halloween is not that far away. So, and already, so you're, you're saying that if someone goes, uh, they could actually hit the tuna run pretty soon if they wanted to go and take the boat out. I would say you could drop her in and go. The only thing what, uh, would, be, would be getting electronics for the, for the boat. Yes, the electronics right. are weak. They're weak. Okay. Full disclosure. We always disclose. All right. Captain Rob here aboard the 37-foot Hatteras, and we're on the flybridge. Overlooking the bow and uh, where the windlass, forward hatch. As stated earlier, everything was uh, all grip painted, the hull superstructure. Um, for the most part on the exterior part. The electronics, um, as the owner said, um, basically uh, um, that's one thing that would have to go and be, you know, replaced. You know, so I'm not going to go and test them to see if they uh, turn on or not. But uh, the boat um, basically is uh, being sold, you know, for the quality of the hull. Um, the engines, as he mentioned, um, they don't know the exact year, but his mechanic said that uh, they uh, tested out very well, and uh, the generator um, is basically new. With about, I would say, well, I think I should saw the gauge, about 150 hours. And just the, the seats, the seats look good, it just needs to be varnished. And we got one, two, three, four, five rocket launchers and uh, the stairs going up They're like two parts one is uh, right here and then there's a section that just uh, attaches uh, to uh, the uh, cockpit uh, trans not the transom wall but the bulkhead wall towards uh, the, the salon and you got teak and on the gun wells and if they put some silkens on there, it will look fantastic. And also on the bridge, uh, in front of the helm, you know, most uh, have uh, seating here. Uh, it's all storage and access to uh, all your, you know, the rear of the back for your gauges and controls. All nice and clean. separate door that closes it. I'll take you back around for a final view. Uh, as far as the top, it's all glass. All the uh, aluminum looks good. Out rig riggers uh, look in good shape. Maybe uh, some Aluma Guard would actually brighten them up a little bit. But besides that, um, it all looks good. And uh, as far as the helm seats, companion seats, just a little varnish, you know, on them. And we're good from there. And moving back up uh, forward towards uh, the bow, um, there are no, no de there is no deck railing. So he might have uh, some contacts to help out and find if wanted, but he said primarily probably the best thing is to run some uh, wire just for like a, a safety line if need be which he's considering doing but if not that might be a feature that if you're going offshore fishing and if you're going to anchoring you would want something to uh, lock on to. Here with the owner in the uh, engine room so what can you tell us about the engines of what we know? 
They're uh, Cummins engines, right? They're marine, marine. Cummins engines. Um, they are uh, what they refer to as their 470V marine diesel engines. You could look them up on the internet. Is uh, that a V8? V8. And uh, they have, uh, they came from Cummins with the heat exchanger unit, which is on the front of the engine. Works fantastically. Um, and, uh, you know, she has all of the filters on the back uh, part of the engine compartment. There are uh, several fuel filters, as well as the last minute ones on the engine itself. She has, I believe, Allison, Allison transmissions. And uh, she's obviously, if you've seen the picture, is naturally aspirated. She has no uh, turbo. No, no turbochargers or anything. Okay. I think she'll go about 20 top speed. Uh, How much fuel do you hold? Well, my, my estimate is 330 gallons. Okay. And that is apparently very close to... Uh, exactly what all of them were built with so i think yeah uh the other uh, 38 that i have has 320 you know so that is a pretty good estimate those as you can see are uh new batteries that just i haven't even hooked them up yet no, you haven't even hooked them up yeah they look brand new and so she's got good batteries in her uh now did you have to replace anything underneath besides like the batteries have you uh done any any other repairs at well, all? Well, the water pressure uh, I The replaced. water system? The wa part of the water system was replaced, and part of the head, as we talked about, was rebuilt. The marine head. The okay. marine head. Was rebuilt. That's correct. And I had our mechanics go through here and clean out all the fuel injectors and put them back in to make sure they were in good shape. Uh, she's a... Uh, so all the zinc iodes and stuff for the engine have been replaced and stuff like that? She, yeah, that's correct. All she, of it. She is ready to go. Ready to go. And uh, we would have started them up, but I suggested to the owner that we want to go and take uh, some photos of the bottom of the hull to show you how good everything is. And uh, what, next week you think you're going to launch? Uh, or yes, two weeks? as a matter of fact, I should tell you both in the video now that I'm going to be on vacation. So the first showing this won't be until uh, like the 23rd of the month. So the 23rd like of the month. We'll put her in the water around that time. And then uh, we have to go and make a correction for the Kohler generator. It was uh, stated as a 9KW. This is a 8KW. Mm -hmm. And uh, what year is it? Uh, again, because of the way I bought the boat, I can't oh, tell so, you that. But we know how but many hours are we on? Know exactly. You can see up on the upper left-hand side there's a computer. You, that, that's a computer internal to the unit, and it tells you how many hours. It tells you everything. Oh. This reader right here. Okay. So as soon as you but put that electric, on, it's right there. It shows it on the. That's a remote start. That's a remote start. You have to look here for the hours. Oh. Okay. All right. But but it's it keeps track of everything, so uh, it's a very accurate number, and it is uh, a relatively new unit. I can tell you that. I mean, they only started to manufacture it in the in, in the early two thousands. Yeah. No. It's exactly. More. It looks exactly the same as my five KW almost. <laughs> so I mean, how everything's put together. <laughs> talking to the owner and I said what are you doing and uh, he forgot I'm like that is a huge alternator so what did you do we put a heavier amp my mechanics put in a heavier amp alternator in there now you're gonna ask me which one it is and I don't know they they put in a heavier amp so we could uh, uh, utilize more of our uh, uh, electric while running on the boat. Does it have an inverter to, uh, attached to it or no? Uh, we took the inverter out. out because we were using the generator, generator. So, and you might ask why he put it because uh, the owner here, don't you are like a heavy machine? Yes, we, we own a lot of heavy I mean, equipment and, and these engines and alternators and my mechanics. We own we, there's about 40 mechanics that work for me, uh, heavy, heavy equipment mechanics. So, and then you're all your mechanics say these engines run, they just run perfect, they run perfectly. All right, so we're signing off from the engine room. And uh, the date of uh, the first showing, the earliest can be, what, August 23rd, 20, 20, make it a 24th. 24th. Signing off from the engine room, Captain Rob.